right. Well, happy Monday, everybody. I hope you had an amazing weekend. It's been chilly over here in uh, around Washington, D.C. But, uh, you know, nevertheless, we're here today. So uh, for those of you who are wandering in, um, my name is Leah Catherine. I am the owner here. I'm a board certified hypnotist and peak performance coach here at Beat Your Anxiety. And today I want to talk about this thing that I often hear from clients who come in my door. Uh, you know, oftentimes um, people who come in my door who complain of like low self-esteem, right? Like if you're here watching, right, what about this topic magnetized you here today? Right? Because oftentimes when we are struggling with low self-esteem, we think the best solution is to just stop caring about what other people are thinking. And it's very, that is very black and white thinking. And it never works in the end. Like if you naturally care about what people think, the solution isn't to now turn off your emotions. Right? Like, would you want to go through life living an emotionless life? Right? Is that really what you want? So first of all, I want to talk about why this happens, because when you start to understand your emotions a bit better and you can start to make sense of why this happens, like why does this uh, validation seeking behavior why am I, why do I need that person's approval? Or why do I need people to give me that thumbs up? Or uh, why does it hurt when somebody I don't even know says something about me or gives me a weird look? I know, um, I know being in business, oftentimes when we want to put ourselves out there, or even if it's at your job, you, maybe you want to speak up at a meeting, you want to add to an idea or a topic in the meeting. And what ends up happening is you putting yourself out there really ends up paralyzing you, right? How, ma how, many, how many of you here watching, does this resonate with you? Like you want, to, you want to take some kind of action to put yourself out there but you get paralyzed because maybe you think about what everyone else around you is going to think in the meeting or what what your colleague next to you might think or maybe this happens in your family do you tend to edit yourself when you're around family do you withhold do you do you tell yourself well maybe I shouldn't say that because somebody might take it the wrong way or somebody might get offended or somebody might get angry or triggered. And what ends up happening is people end up going through their entire lives just asking the question of how do I stop caring what people think? And here's the thing. If you're a, if you're a normal human being, like you're, you're not a psychopath, you're not a malignant, uh, you know, a BPD, a, a borderline, um, you're not a, you don't have like a narcissism, like the personality disorder. If you don't have any of these personality disorders, you cannot go and just shut off your emotions like that. And the second question becomes, would you want to, would you want to, it, let's say it was possible. Would you want to be like a psych, a sociopath or a psychopath? Because that's what happens when you stop caring what people think. That's basically what you're asking for. And it's it's these individuals, right? It's like it's like murderers, right? Or you know, other people who wind up in prison, um, who take advantage of others. It's, they they don't have the empathy and compassion for others. Like they they actually don't care <laughs> about what you think or what you feel. They don't care. Like it was never developed inside of them, or they're 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 wired a different way. And would you would you want to go through your life like not being able to emotionally connect with people in a deeper way? And I think most of you here watching would probably say no. Like, wh what is your answer to that question? For those of you tuning in, would you want to go through life, like, not caring what people think? Because it doesn't sound fun, right? 
sounds like you're just a robot. You're just like a machine and everyone around you is just like a machine and there's no connecting going on. So here's the first clue to, and here's the first answer to this question of how do I stop caring? Let's not make that the goal now, because again, in order for you to not care, you have to be a, you know, a malignant narcissist, or you have to be a psychopath or sociopath to not care. And is that the life you want to lead, right? For, you know, we are animals, we have feelings. And again, wouldn't you want to be able to connect with empathy and compassion on a deeper level with people, right? So this goal doesn't really work. It doesn't work at all. And also the reason that we end up struggling with, with worrying about what other people think is because we're trying to get validation, right? There's this validation seeking behavior out. We're looking outside of ourselves for validation. And, and then, so now that's the second problem here. Are you looking outside of yourself for validating to, to validate what's going on inside of yourself? And I've talked about this before in past videos, why this doesn't work. Can you see now, right? If, if you're here asking yourself, if, if this video, if this content uh, got your attention, right? If you're here, here watching today, you probably seek validation outside of yourself right? If this sounds like you, put me in the chat. I'm sorry, put me in the comments. If this sounds like you, put me in the comments. Like, let's start to identify our own behaviors. Let's call ourselves out here. Let's, let's declare that this is something that we need to change now. So if this sounds like you, let me know in the comments that this is resonating with you that you constantly compare yourself to others. If you struggle with worrying about what other people think, I can tell you, you compare yourself to others and, and probably in very unfair ways, right? Where do you compare yourself with others? Here's a great question. Where do you compare yourself with others? You wanna hone in on where this is happening. For me, is with it was with, uh, body, like, um, body fat, like how much fat a person has that's, you know, my family was obsessed with body image growing up. And so that's where I developed this habit of comparing other women's bodies with mine. Where do you tend to do this? Where to you, where do you tend to compare yourself? Drop it in the comments. Is it with smarts knowledge? Is it with your job or the amount of money that you make? or your muscle size, how much muscle that you have, or how much body fat or how much body fat you don't have? Or is it, um, you know, how fast you can run compared to, to your friend, right? Or that, that, other tr that other person who's training for the race? Or is it uh, your, your colleague at work? Do you, do you compare yourself with your colleagues at work? Do you kind of compete on a subconscious level? drop it in the comments below. Where do you compare yourself with others? Hmm. For those of you here watching, take advantage of this opportunity here to let's, let's create some focus here around where you're struggling. Where do you compare yourself? Where are you trying to seek validation for yourself? And what's interesting is oftentimes I see on Facebook, and I'm sure you've all seen this on Facebook, is that people say things like, well, um, and, I, and honestly, these, these sound like we're re very reactive. People are being very reactive. Is oftentimes people say things like, okay, I just don't care anymore. And I, I see this on Facebook all the time where people, something triggered them and they say something like, well, I'm just not going to care anymore. Who cares about what people think? You know, screw it, screw everything. I'm not even gonna worry. I'm going to, and they go into this complete opposite. You go into this complete opposite of just acting, what, what is the word today? Savage, I think my word is savage for having just no manners and not treating people with respect. Like this is not growth. Being reacting in a charged way when when somebody kind of you know 
makes you angry or, or ticks you off and you just declaring that's it I'm done I'm just not going to care about what people think anymore that you still care by saying that by default you still care why because your attention is still on what people think about you and as long as your attention is still on what people think about you then you're going to be caring what people think about you. How many of you have been in this back and forth? Like I, I care too much and then I try not to care at all. And then I care too much and then I try not to care at all. This doesn't work. And this is also you trying to solve this on a conscious level. It's like, it's you trying to think your way out of this problem that was created on a subconscious level. And this is why hypnosis can be very beneficial to tap into that layer inside of you where you're storing these messages that I need to care about what other people think. So, so far, what's resonating with you guys? For those of you watching here today, what is resonating with you right now? Where are you seeking validation for yourself, but from others? Where are you comparing yourself? Again, is it your... Uh, your physical shape? Is it your, um, your knowledge? Is it how much you think you know about a certain topic? Is it the type of degree that you have? Is it the school that you went to? Is it your job status? I see a lot of business owners pride themselves on being CEOs or entrepreneurs, and they think that's enough, and then they don't have to grow themselves. That's absolutely not true. In fact, if you are working for yourself, if you do run a business, growing yourself needs to be number one. Mm -hmm. Hey, Lillian says, um, am I a good person with moral decisions making good skills? I see validation. Yeah. So do you judge yourself? Do you ask yourself, am I making the right decisions? But you're seeking it through others. You're looking to them to get the answer. Mm -hmm. Creativity. Yeah. And Maria, in what way? Creativity. You compare yourself being creative. Is this like fine arts? Is it this? Is it like writing something? Is it music related? What do you mean by creativity? I'm just curious. And can you see why this doesn't work? Like just going from one extreme to the other to, to caring about what people think, maybe focusing on that too much to focusing on it not at all and acting in a way that's very disrespectful or disrespectful of yourself or like what they say is savage today and just basically just uh, moral, just no morals. Um, it, that, that, that not, that doesn't work because you're still focusing. You're still focusing on the problem. So how do we change this? You know, why this happens is typically going to be related to self-esteem. If you're here today, you've probably thought you've probably heard this phrase before self-esteem and why is why is this happening in the first place because you're focusing way too much on things that that don't really serve you let's be let's be honest here when you focus on when you focus on negative things people say versus positive Right. And it's going to be natural to do that because when people say things about us that are judgmental or we, we may imagine people being judgmental, it can be a threat. Right. It can feel like a threat to our survival because the worst thing that can happen to a human being is being exiled from the community or exiled from your friend group or exiled from your class or exiled from your family. Like that's that's the that's like the most terrifying thing a human be being could go through is to being exiled from the community, which is why we have this tendency to want to fit in. But the problem is, is the problem here, the real problem here is your focus. This is the focus. This is a focus issue because we cannot at all, we have no power over what other people are thinking about us, none. Nor also, we do not know what other people are thinking about us. You will never know. I have so many clients who tell me they, they think they know that other people are thinking about them. And they're like, well, I'm pretty sure. No, bullshit, okay? You either know or you don't. You either know or you don't. 
And here's how I challenge my clients. You know, let's say, let's say somebody did tell you what they were thinking about you. Let's just say somebody did tell you something like, oh, well, I don't think you're a nice person, or I think you're very rude, or I don't, I feel like you did that wrong. Even if somebody did tell you, like, how can you be sure that that's true? How, how often do people lie, right? How often, how often do you lie, right? Even if a person was to tell you what's on their mind, how do you know it's true? Even then you don't know. So why, why spend all of your precious hours and days focusing on what, what is going on in someone else's head? Can you see how this is, this is torture? Like this is going to torture you. This is going to, this is going to create so much anxiety because you're, you're trying to control something you can't. What's, what's hitting you right now? For those of you watching, what is resonating with you? What, what's your aha moment here so far? You, you will never be able to fully trust what people say ever. It will never happen. You know, and it's not a bad or a good thing. It's just, just, just understand a lot of people don't even know what they think. A lot of people don't even know what they feel. And so when they communicate it to you, it's already been filtered. It's already been skewed. So how do you know what's accurate? You'll never know. So if you're already, if you're always trying to figure out what's accurate about what somebody else thinks about you, you will live in a constant state of anxiety. So what's the solution here? What is the actual solution here? If it's not just stop caring, right? If the solution here isn't to become like some kind, just to, you know, become some kind of robot or sociopath or psychopath, because that's not an option. Recognize this is, it's not an option to stop caring. It's not an option to stop caring. You will always care. And that's not a bad thing. That's a great thing, right? Because because you care, you have this ability to connect on a deeper level with people. You have this ability to share. You have this ability to feel what other people are feeling and vice versa. I mean, how amazing is that? That we, we have this opportunity to be able to dig so deep inside someone else's world, including your own. Why would you ever want to shut that off? You see, so what's the real solution to this? How did I fix this completely? Like, I mean, I, I don't, it doesn't even hardly occur into my head anymore that this person might think that it, it's almost gone. Why? How did I, how did I shift this? By shifting my focus, people are always going to judge you guys. It's a natural phenomenon that occurs. You judge people and others will judge you. It's a natural phenomenon. We're wired to do this. So it's time to stop beating yourself up for being judgmental and stop getting angry at others for being judgmental. We all do it. So let that go. This is working with judgment. Judgment is not going to solve this issue. Um, it's always going to be better if you're not so judgmental, right? Like that's a habit you can practice dissolving away, but it's just, again, it's something that occurs naturally. And we definitely cannot turn it off in other people. So what? So when I say shifting your focus, what does this mean? When you're trying to seek validation from others, when you care too much about what other people think, you're focusing on like trying to get in their head. You're focusing on them. You're focusing on them. This is the habit. This all comes down. Self-destructive behavior always comes down to a habit. And self-esteem issues always comes down to a habit. The habit here is to stop focusing so much on other people, especially if it's someone you don't even know. Like how, how many times have you maybe done, a pu done public speaking? Have you ever done a, a group presentation in front of some people maybe you don't even know or you barely know, yet you're so focused on what they think about you? Put me in the chat. I know you've been there, right? Whether it was really early on in life in school, you had to do a presentation or whether at work or if you're in business, maybe you worry too much about what your clients or patients think. 
and it paralyzes you guys. Here's the consequence of spending so much time focusing on other people is paralysis. You just get paralyzed and you don't go anywhere. You don't do the thing. You don't take that next action step that will take you towards your goals. Whether it's like, I want to make more money. I want to kill it in my revenue this year. I want to double up on um, the amount of clients that I'm working with, or I want to, I want to get a promotion at work, or I want to go lose weight this year, or I want to feel happier and more proud of myself. I want to increase my social circle. I want deeper connections. I want, it doesn't matter if it's wealth or, or relationships or health, because you're always going to get paralyzed. You're always going to be walking on eggshells if you're focusing so much on other people, right? And how horrible, how awful is that to go through your life just sitting in paralysis because of what some stranger might think about you, you might never see again. Guys, are you hearing me? Are you hearing what I, what am I saying here? What are you guys hearing me say? What's resonating with you? Because this is such an important topic. And this is the only way to turn this off. There's no way around it. There's no way not, there's no amount of books that you are going to read. There's no amount of YouTube videos you're going to watch. There's no amount of meditations you're going to do. You've got to change the habit. you got to shift your focus. And you have way more power over yourself than you think you do. Your will can override anything. Your will can override your emotions. Your will can override your behavior. And I know you already practice this. You've already, you, you already self-correct yourself, right? It's time to self-correct yourself when you find yourself focusing on what other people may or may not be thinking. And shift that inside of yourself. Start to ask yourself, what do I think? Replace what do they think with what do I think? What do I like about myself? What do I think I need to change about myself? Like, th these are... right? Stop trying to be perfect. This is another reason why a lot of people care so like tr care so much and focus on what other people think is because you're trying to be perfect for them, not for you, for them. You're trying to be perfect. You will never reach perfect. You will never reach perfect. But what if you shifted that to 90%? Like how can I be at 90%? How can I be 90%? Or how can I be 30% better than what I am now? Shift your attention back inside of yourself from your point of view. What do I think about myself? What do I think about my behavior? Do I think that's good enough? And take what, and, and you get to decide that if somebody gives you feedback about something or if somebody criticizes you, right? If some, if you start to uh, hear others judging you, then you get to decide whether that's helpful or not. Honestly, most of the time people judging you or criticizing you is not helpful at all. It's just people trying to hurt you. There's a lot of people trying to hurt each other out there. And imagine trying to be perfect for that person. This person who, who spends their time trying to hurt everyone, their habit is to hurt other everyone. If they're treating you that way, they're treating everyone that way. And if they think you need to be something for them and you're going to spend your whole life trying to be something for them, that's called a slave. You trying to be someone for someone else, trying to be perfect for someone else, trying to seek validation through other people. You are a slave to them. You are basically a slave. I mean, let that sink in for a minute. You're a slave if you're trying to always be good enough for someone else. And that, that was that was what I got tired of, was being a slave for other people. Start trying to be good enough for yourself. Shift that locus of control back inside of you and ask, what do I think about how I handled that? Is that good enough for me? 
or am I triggering like shame inside of myself? Was that good enough for me? Do I want to do that thing? Forget about what everyone else wants you to do. You don't know what everyone wants you to do. You don't, you will never know what other people want you to do. Right? What do you want to do? Do you want to approach that person? I, I work with a lot of people with social anxiety and people who have anxiety in their relationships and in dating. And people get paralyzed and they don't reach out or they don't approach that person because they worry about what other people are going to think. How many, how many of the res this resonates with you? Does this resonate with you? You don't even bother reaching out because you feel like you're a burden. How many of you feel like you're a burden here? Like maybe you run a business and you don't follow up with clients or you don't, do, you don't make calls because you feel like you're a burden or you don't, you don't speak out in a meeting at work or you don't reach out to your family because you feel like you're a burden. How many of you feel that way? Let me know in the comments. Maybe somebody else has triggered you to feel this way. But here's the thing. If somebody's triggering you to feel like you're a burden or you're not good enough, why the heck would you want these people in your life to begin with? Do, do you want to be with these people? Forget about if they want to be with you. See, here we go. We're flipping the attention now. Instead of wondering, do they, do they want to be with me? Do they like me? Shift it. Do I like them? Do I, do I think they're good enough for me? Do I think they're good enough for me? You see that? You're starting to say, what do I like? Use I instead of they or them or everyone else. This is how I, this is the habit I replaced. Replace the val validation seeking behavior from looking outside of yourself to looking inside of yourself. Do I think I'm good enough? Do I like them? Do I approve of that behavior? And stop trying to be perfect. What are you guys hearing me say? Hmm? What is the time to do now? What is your next, next action step? What's your next action step? What are you taking away from this live today? What are you going to start to do differently this week? Let me know in the comments. And if you don't know, ask, use this time here today. We only have a few minutes left. But here are the key points. Start to recognize that there are people out there who are, are trying to hurt you. They're trying to hurt you. That's the first key. Recognize there are people trying to hurt you, right? And once you start seeing the games, once you start looking at, once you start recognizing the maliciousness, then you'll start to realize that it's all coming from inside of them. They just have a habit of hurting everybody and it has nothing to do with you. That's one first very free, that should free you. That should totally free you to some degree is realizing people out there are unhappy. <clears throat> they're angry. They're anxious, especially in today's world with COVID, right? And they are, they're, tar you are target. They want you to feel like shit about yourself. So are you going to allow that? Are you going to allow Joe Schmo down the street? You don't even know, or at the gym or at the store, at your work. Are you going to allow them to paralyze you for the rest of your life? Are you going to, are you going to stop your life for these people? Here, here's where these are, in, these are such powerful insights you can have. Are you going to start allowing these people to stop you from living to your fullest potential? Yes or no, guys? Yes or no? These are the questions I started asking myself that freed me. Are you going to stop your life for these people? It's time to make a decision. <clears throat> the next thing is to shift your focus back and so on you, back on you. What do I think? What do I like? What do I disagree with? Do I think that's correct? Do I like myself? What do I like my, about myself? What do I not like about myself? What are my flaws? 
what can I be better? Where, where can I be better? What can I do better? See that? <clears throat> You're asking yourself versus trying to bounce it off someone else. Right? It's time for you to decide what's good or what's not good for you. You know, especially with the, the vaccine and everything today, you know what? Nobody knows your body like you do. Nobody knows your body. Nobody knows your state of health. It is not up to everyone to tell you what to do with your health or your body. This is a huge overstepping of someone's scope. This is a huge, a massive overstepping of someone's someone's authority this is your body guys and you get to decide how you want to feel about yourself and adjust yourself for yourself if you don't feel like you're good enough why what needs to change so you are good enough see and get these answers from yourself stop going to everyone around you asking what they think about you stop that if you're doing that stop that Getting constructive feedback is great. If you want to get constructive feedback from a group or from a client or from, um, you know, presentation you did at work, that's all great. But decide if that feedback is resourceful or not for you. Do you see that? You're still coming at it from, is this, is this resourceful for me? Is this going to help me? Or is it hurtful? Or, or is it very passive? Is it not clear? Does it make me feel not good about myself? Like you want to filter what, what everybody says. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Mario, the question, the habit here to stop breaking is to stop questioning yourself. This is, this is, we'll talk about self doubt in the future. In fact, maybe I'll do this next week or on Thursday, but Here's how to here's how to fix self doubt. Stop doubting yourself. Stop doing the habit of questioning. Just stop. Make a decision and do it, and then make another another decision and then do it. Make another decision and then do it. You'll never know the answer unless you do it. You see that? So questioning yourself will not move you forward. Questioning yourself will just paralyze you. So you want to just make a commitment, make the decision and do it. Make that next decision and do it. Do the thing next, do it. And then see if it's working, right? You, you have, you, you will never know till you take action. That's the thing. And, and stop going inside and asking questions about it. That's if that's helping you do it. If it's not helping you, if it's just paralyzing, you don't do it. Okay. Shift your attention inside of yourself. What do I think? What do I like? Is that good enough for me? Does that work for me? Is that opinion somebody gave of me? Or that feedback, is that, does that, is that resourceful for me? Stop trying to fix your self-worth. Start focusing on what do I think of, how can I be better? A better person, a better mother, a better father, a better, a better me, a better listener, a better, um, a more motivated person, right? Like you're, and do this for yourself. You're doing this for yourself anyway. You're always doing things for yourself in the end. So, so what is the time to do for yourself so you can be better or happier or more confident? Okay. Was this helpful to you guys? What, what are you taking away? What, what have you heard me say today? What are you taking away? Do you have action steps to take going forward? Start to pay attention to what you're focusing on. Are you focusing on that one person in the room you barely know, you've never talked to? Here's the thing, I'm gonna leave you guys with this. The only person you're gonna have to live your whole life with, the person you wake up to, the person you go to bed with every night, the person you look at, at the mirror every time is gonna be you. So whose opinion matters more? This should be hitting home for some of you guys. You have to wake up with yourself. You have to go to bed with yourself every day for the rest of your life. And you are who you see in the mirror. 
every time. Every time you look in the mirror, that's you. So whose opinion do you think matters the most? Are you going to let Joe Schmo paralyze you for the rest of your life? Are you going to let a comment someone left on your Facebook, a comment someone left on your Facebook, on a photo, uh, maybe you're in business, a, a review someone left on your business, or one client had something negative to say? Are you going to let that stop you? Whose opinion matters more? Comment below. Whose opinion really matters now? What's evident now? Because you got to live with yourself. So impress yourself. and Stop trying to impress others. Go impress the heck out of yourself, guys. Go impress the heck out of yourself. And you will live a much happier, more fulfilling life. When you spend your focus, your time being a better you in whatever way that looks like for you. You're with yourself 24-7. You better believe, you better pay attention to that opinion of yourself more than anything. And take what others say with a grain of salt. Decide if it's resourceful, it's, if it's going to help you. If not, throw it out. If it's not helpful, throw it out. You don't need it. Not everyone, you don't have to care about everyone. Not everyone has to like you and you don't have to like everyone. This is another myth that clients often tell me is I, you know, I feel like we're, we're required to like everyone or treat everyone the same bullshit. Okay, guys, you do not have to like everyone, nor does everyone have to like you. I mean, imagine living under that system. Imagine living under the system where everybody's got to like each other. That's, that's miserable, right? We can't just be ourselves. We can't spend our time and our energy with people that matter the most to us. You don't got to like everyone. Not everyone has to like you. And if you feel like everybody needs to like you, then it's time to, it's time to start to investigate why that is. And I can tell you, if that's a question for you, then stop focusing on other people so much. Shift your attention to you. Shift your attention away from that. Shift your attention back into inside of you. And also join me on Ask Me Anything Fridays for more coaching for to get your questions answered on how you specifically, you as an individual can move forward. Where we do Ask Me Anything Fridays every Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern. Last week was awesome. I got so many questions and I, I think I was able to help so many people. And I hope you were all able to take something away as well. Um, I try to be as clear as I can and give you what I think is the closest to truth that I possibly can. So join us Friday as well as Wednesday. We'll do another video here Wednesday. But come in on Friday if you have more questions, if you need more one-on-one -on -one help, join us on Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Ask Me Anything Fridays. All right, everyone, have an amazing rest of your week. Go kick butt this week. Go test out, go try these things we talked about. Shift your focus back inside of yourself. Like this video if this has helped you. Share this with your friends. If you feel like this helped you, I can bet you this will help somebody around you. So share it, like this video. It lets me know that this is helping you, that you like this content and to bring more of this to you. So guys, have an amazing rest of your week. Let's make it powerful. Let's make it productive. And I will talk to you guys on Wednesday.